Coaster and Dizzy's time back at it again with another video for you guys to watch today. So today I'm reacting to my friend Utah Coaster Fanatics, every coaster at Cedar Point ranked. Cedar Point's my home park, so I do have a lot of opinions on it. Just remember that like I don't actually get offended by people's opinions. I'm not actually like angry and fuming about somebody's opinions. Alright, I'm just getting it out of the way. Okay, so I got confused because I have a list in front of me and on RCDB there's 17 roller coasters but he put 18 because of Gemini which I count as two credits too but I'd put like it on the same spot of the list because they are referred to as the same. So his list starts at 18. Okay, just to, if anybody else got confused it might have just been me. Number 18 spot is Wilderness Run. This that is makes sense. First roller coaster um, ever built. Mine gotta say, is also at Wilderness Run as last, so, so is I agree. Coaster, um, but it's enjoyable nonetheless. Wilderness yeah, Run is I also agree. very difficult <laughs> to ride, as you have to be <laughs> under a, a certain height it's limit. It's just and really little. Tall, like me, then you'll have to find a small child to ride with. I think overall, Wilderness Run is yeah. worth riding if you want to acquire a rare credit. It's fun, but at it's just not anything special because it's so little. Is the Arrow Mine Train Cedar Whoa. Creek Mine Ride. While riding this coaster, I noticed that this ride okay. was placed in a very nice area in the park. I Even greatly disagree with this. I love Cedar Creek, Creek Mine Ride. Ride experience is it's sentimental to me, ride bangs you um, but it's still turn. really fun to me. Like, I didn't, I didn't just, I'd enjoy it a lot more than some of the other coasters that are definitely ahead of this. I think it's really fun. Taking my number 16 spot is I ride a lot. Express, the Vokoma Junior Coaster at the park. I, think it's I have it in the same know, spot at the park, but I do not agree that it's way better than, an better than this is a clone yeah, I don't agree that it's better than the world, um, Cedar Creek Mine Ride, but that's place. all right. Um, I don't agree, but I still, well, I agree with the placement, but not what it's above. Or I don't think it's better than Cedar Creek Mine Ride, but I still think it's a really good ride. Well, not, obviously not very good, but it's fun. Number 15 spot is one of the most historic coasters in Cedar Point's life. Oh my gosh. Corkscrew. Wait, it was blurry, and so I thought it was going to be Millennium Force for a second. And I was like, what? I have Corkscrew lower than that. Um, but, um, I did, I haven't, I didn't ride it last year, and I heard it was actually running very good last year. So, I think that's why it's lower for me, because I never got the chance to ride it last season. Um, but I still like it. Um, moving on to yeah, I agree with him. Is the Aero Suspended Coaster at Cedar Point named Iron Dragon? This I have it in the same spot as the park, five but I have it below like Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Of this video. With this ride but being very unique, it's still really it fun. I like Iron experience. Dragon. It's really um, interesting that this ride has I think it's really fun. I like it better than the Bad at King's Island. Is um, I it's not as intense, but it's still, Personally, um, I think it like, an it's just really fun and it's, like, enjoyable. It up some of but it's not, like, insane or anything. I agree with him completely. Raven, the B &M Ooh. Dive coaster. Some people might give me some hate from this spot, but I have Whoa. my reasons. One reason this ride is low on my list is because that's pretty low. I don't think strains, it's which makes this a very uncomfortable. I think the vest restraints on the lives, dives are the a the killer of it. Like I think Griffin is way better than the ones I've ridden with vest. Or Griffin, but I still don't think it's that bad. On the first ride. Or I guess if it's above like some fun coasters, but I don't think it's better than. No, I don't think it's worse than, like, similar to Maverick. some Jumping of the coasters are number 12 ahead of spot is the B &M Whoa. The first thing that I love about this coaster I think that's low, like Valraven. I really like Gatekeeper a lot. Gatekeeper um, is so front Row Night Rides are so fun. But I guess I, I think when you ride it any time, it's fun, but, like, um, especially during night, it's a really good ride. Like, it's worth it to ride it at night at Cedar Point. Because I think it's a lot different. I don't agree with that. I don't think the vests are bad on Gatekeeper. I think it's a lot worse on the other wing coasters. But I still like, like, I, I <laughs> can't talk. Um, 
I was fairly surprised by I have it once but actually it's all thrown off because he put 18 um, gets passed up for um I have it in the same spot in the park definitely gives you the classic yeah coaster feel it's really fun I love blue streak and I agree with him I don't agree that it's better than Val Raven or gatekeeper personally but I still think it's really fun and I agree with some of the points he gives so cracking into my number 10 spot is to whoa the bnm flawless coaster before this wow. became Rougarou, it was a stand-up i think named he's focusing more on intense rides which i understand but, some people but that's not my type well i mean i do like intense rides but like that's not the like thing i prefer um i think the head banging on Rougarou is pretty bad and it's the second half is what kills it but i still think it's fun but i have it way lower the first time I rode this, I think that's kind of high. I think I didn't know what to Wicked Twister is not oh, that great. It's really fun, I but um, waited for the train to launch. there's just not much to it. Like, three, two, it's just one, very simple. How I would and that's the point. It's just a small coaster on a small platform of land, and it adds to the lineup, but um. Wicked Twister is a ride I think it's kind of forgettable almost, like within all of the amazing Next, coasters at Cedar Point. Number eight spot is another inverted Ooh. coaster, which is Raptor, the B and M inverse. This actually, I think since he added 18, I do have it in the same place, actually. Right next to the main we have all of the same rides in the top the seven slash six. Like the um, I really do like Raptor, and it is my favorite B&M at Cedar Point. This attraction is um, but it and Gatekeeper are really close for me. Run. Which is but just the intensity and forcefulness of Raptor overall, puts it over for me. Raptor but Raptor is, is really fun. I love the layout. It's real. It's so fun. In the number seven spot is Millennium seven. Force, the first ever coaster to reach over 300 feet. Some of you watching this might have got upset at me putting this coaster way too low, but let me explain. This attraction is what? very enjoyable, but it doesn't give the wow. He's listening to Hunter too much. That's insane. That's insane. The drop on this okay, road, as well as I can get why you would like top throw. Actually, I don't agree with that, but as um, Millennium Force provides a I don't. Smooth ride I love Gemini crazy a lot, and, and I love Magnum, I but I do not think that as it is their that the speed junkies would Millennium Force level six and five, spot is Gemini. See, six and five yeah. So That's where I have Gemini. Well, actually, I have it at six and seven. Some people would um, disagree with this having the best I really best love Gemini. It is so fun. But I do not think that it's better than Millennium Force. <laughs> which makes it I love Millennium Force so much. Really and, and I did not realize Etai did not have it that high. That's, he listens to Hunter too much. Is the original Arrow Magnum. Magnum XL200. I agree with that. This ride has such amazing airtime. The rides I got during Wait, no I don't. <laughs> Wait, no I don't. Um I think Millennium's super better but placement wise at the end of the ride are the I have it in the same spot. Tries to kill you physically. Um the airtime hurts that much on these small bunny hills. I think well, this ride is pretty I don't know, it's confusing cuz he put 18 instead of 17. It completely throws off the list I made. But um I think Magnum's really fun. I don't like it better than Millennium Force, but I think the airtime it gives is insane. The bunny hills are crazy. Um, Maverick, I have it in the same spot in the park. No! <laughs> I just realized what's gonna be after this, and that makes me angry. <laughs> Maverick is so fun, and so is Millennium Force, and the fact that um, Top Thrill Dragster is gonna be over it. Major thrill junkie that loves is kind of annoying. <laughs> like, out of nowhere, everybody started hyping up Dragster, even though it's the same it's always been. I don't know. Yep, top throw Dragster. Um, I don't get the hype for all of a sudden. I think, like, it's super fun. And, like, it's an amazing ride. Like, I love it. I think it's amazing. But, I don't know, just, like, it's so fun, but, like, 
I have like nothing but good things to say about it. I just think Maverick and Millennium Force have way more to them. But I mean, I understand why people like it. I just don't get the hype for it all of a sudden. Like it was very random. Like one day everyone just decided that Top Girl Dragster was their favorite or second favorite at Cedar Point. I mean, I respect it, but like, finally, whoa, <laughs> like, out of nowhere. My favorite coaster at Cedar Point. Yeah, Steel Vengeance. Steel Vengeance. Yeah. This ride I mean, that makes sense. Like, Steel Vengeance is absolutely amazing. It's insane. Um, I completely agree with that. Um, this ride has it all. The moment the train dispatched, yep. <laughs> it hit the final break run. Um, I knew this ride would be very special. Steel Vengeance, is yeah, <laughs> yeah. Never um, forget, as it is the yeah, Steel Vengeance is amazing. I recommend and riding Steel Vengeance when yeah. visiting Cedar Point because it's just perfect. So. <laughs> These are all of the coasters ranked at Cedar Point. I mean, I really think it is a perfect These ride. Like, um, it's not my favorite, but I, I have nothing bad to say about it at all. So, as you can tell, I didn't completely agree with everything, but I don't think that really matters. This was just for fun. I disagreed more than I thought I would. I did not realize he had Millennium Force that low. Like, I did not realize that at all. I thought, like, he, it was a very high quality video. Um, Itai's definitely been stepping up his game lately. So you guys should all go follow him, Itai Coaster Fanatic, with a K. I think he makes great content. Everybody should go watch the original video and all of his other videos. Sorry if my reactions were boring. I don't think I'm very good at making reaction videos. And I haven't made one in a long time. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Callie the Coaster Enthusiast, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!